What's going on? It's Matt Burns here with CrunchGear.com. What I have is the uh, Inca MID 500 5 inch slate computer. It's exciting. Anyway, it's a 1 gigahertz, 1.1 gigahertz Atom processor. There's a gig of RAM running Windows XP. At least it tries to run Windows XP. It has two USB slots. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. There's a micro SD slot down here, a headphone jack, big old battery in the back here, and one of its main features is this massive fan I hope you can hear. It's louder than my, uh, my notebooks fan. But I've been running for about an hour and the Slate computer has not got hot yet so I guess it does work. Anyway, this is just a quick look at it until I get the full review up. I have a few things. Here's a browser running Firefox. You can see that the it's not formatted properly for the 5-inch screen and the touch screen is not properly calibrated. I guess I probably should have done that before I load this up, but it does have enough juice to run YouTube at least. All right. It stutters a bit. Well, that's to be expected. I tried a Hulu and Hulu won't even load. And HD YouTube videos are of course dead in the water. But here is a high def uh, Pixar movie. It is playing. Can't do that either. Nope, we gotta turn this boy off. And then let's try just a normal AVI. I haven't tried this yet, so we're going to learn together if it works. And it looks fine. It's using the Intel GMA 500 process or GPU. And so it should be able to handle all this. And it does. All right. Well, for a quick size comparison, I have my now broken Blackberry Storm and then a Villavex 70 quite a big difference they're very similar in specs so this runs the same Intel GMA 500 it's a little faster atom processor but has the same amount of RAM this cannot handle HD videos or Hulu either and then here's a one terabyte external hard drive you can kinda see a size should probably do that for the storm too. The thing's rather thick actually, surprisingly. But anyway, there you go. It's the uh, Inca MID 500. I have a full review up here shortly. 350 bucks.